record accounting transactions, we must know which side is the increase or plus side of each T account and which side is the decrease or minus side of each T account. During my homework demonstrations, I will often refer to this, which I call the accounting grid. It looks complicated at first, but once we know it, we can refer back to it to record any accounting transaction that we'll ever encounter. To walk us through the process step by step, we first need to know the accounting equation. Of course, that's assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, also called the capital account for sole proprietorships. Now notice that each of these account types have a T account drawn under each. So before we can figure out which side of each T account is the increase side, we need to know which side is the debit side and which is the credit side. So remember in accounting, debit simply means left side and credit means right side. Notice debit is abbreviated as DR and credit is abbreviated as CR. Next, let's move to liabilities. Which side is the debit side? The left side is the debit side, which means the right side is the credit. What about the capital account? The left side is the debit and the right side is the credit. Notice the left side is always the debit and the right side is always a credit, no matter if it's an asset account, liability account, or owner's equity account. Now we need to figure out which side is the increase and decrease side of each account. Notice on the left side of the equal sign is assets. We'll focus on assets first. Because assets are on the left side of the accounting equation, all assets increase on the left side, the debit side. This means assets decrease on the right side, the credit side. So what does this mean? Using cash as an example, if a company receives $10,000 of cash, we would need to put 10,000 on the left or debit side of the cash account because the account is increasing and because cash is an asset account. If cash later decreased by $5,000 because they paid a bill, we would need to put $5,000 on the right side or credit side of cash. This applies to all asset accounts, such as accounts receivable and the land account. Now let's look at the right side of the accounting equation, liabilities and owner's equity. Because liabilities and equity are on the right side of the accounting equation, all liability accounts and equity increase on the right or credit side. Of course, this means that the opposite side, the left side, is the decrease side. So let's say accounts payable, also called AP, increased by $2,000 because the company bought something and promised to pay later. First, we need to know which type of account AP is. AP is a liability. And since we said AP increased by $2,000, we would need to put $2,000 on the plus side, which is the right side for all liability accounts. If later accounts payable decreased, by $2,000, we would need to place $2,000 on the left side because the left side is a decrease side for liabilities. Now let's say the capital account increased by $6,000. Which side of the capital account would you put the $6,000 on? Capital increases on the right or credit side, so you would put the $6,000 on the right side. So we now know the plus and minus sides for assets, liabilities, and equity. But what about the four things that affect equity? Those are revenue, expenses, draws, and owner contributions, also known as owner investments. To help us, let's put the two events that increase the capital account on the increase side or credit side of capital. Do you remember what the two events are that increase capital? They are revenue, and owner investments.
also known as owner contributions. So let's talk about revenue first. Remember, we record revenue whenever we sell something. And because revenue increases capital, revenue has its plus side on the same side that capital has it, on the right side. So that means revenue would decrease on the left side. So if we sold a service for $3,000, that means revenue is increasing. So we would place $3,000 on the right side of our service revenue account. Now let's talk about investments, also known as owner contributions. Notice I did not put a T account under investments. That's because there is no investments account. Owner investments instead directly increase the capital account. That is why it's on the plus side of capital. So if the owner invested $20,000 of cash into the business, the cash account, which is an asset, increases by $20,000 on the left side. And the capital account increases on the right side. Now let's place on the left side of the capital the two things that make capital decrease. Do you remember what they are? They are expenses and draws. And because expenses and draws decrease the capital account, their plus and minus sides are the opposite of the capital account. This means that since the capital account increases on the right side, the expense account increases on the opposite or left side. And the same goes for the withdrawal account, also called the draw account. Then of course, this means the expense account decreases on the right side and the draw account also decreases on the right side. So for recording accounting transactions, this is probably the single most important PowerPoint slide. In future homework demonstrations, I will constantly be referring back to this accounting grid. So until you eventually memorize this, I recommend writing down the notes on this slide on a three by five note card and have the note card available when you're doing your homework so you can figure out if you should be debiting or crediting accounts. Are you ready for an accounting equation cheat technique to help memorize the pluses and minuses? Good. So I showed you all the pluses and minuses for the six different types of accounts. And I call this my famous accounting grid because it's the single most important PowerPoint slide in all of my accounting classes. But how will you ever remember them? Well, first of all, you don't have to memorize them right away. For now, write them down on a piece of paper or better yet, a three by five note card and consult it when you need to. In fact, whenever I demonstrate the homework, I will be constantly showing you the accounting grid on the videos, so don't worry about memorizing the pluses and minuses right away. In fact, we'll be referring to the accounting grid so often that you will eventually memorize it. But if you want to memorize it now, studies show that things are easier to remember if they are silly, naughty, and or visual. I can't help you with the naughty memorization techniques, but on this video we'll work on a visual and somewhat silly way to memorize the pluses and minuses of all six account types. So let's start with the visuals. So what meal are these people eating? Looks like they're eating dinner. So our accounting equation cheat method starts with after eating dinner, and then what is this kid reading? Misspelled comics. So after eating dinner, let's read comics. Now notice the AED are in red as well as the LRC. Well, what the heck has this got to do with anything? So we're gonna draw a T account. And on the left, we have after eating dinner. And on the right, we have let's read comics. So again, what's this got to do with the memorizing the pluses and minuses? Well, these three account types, AED, assets, expenses, draws, they have the plus on the left side. So the AED corresponds with the after eating dinner. So here's our accounting grid. So what we're talking about here is notice assets 
increase on the left side. Expenses also increase on the left side. And then draws also increase on the left side. So after eating dinner, assets, expenses, and draws, those are on the left side of our T account, meaning that those three increase on the left side. So let's read COMIC stands for liabilities, revenue, and capital. And I place them on the right side of the T account because these three account types have the plus on the right side. So see, liabilities have the plus on the right side. Revenues have the plus on the right side. And then capital has the plus on the right side. So that's one way to help you memorize the pluses and minuses of the T accounts after eating dinner. Let's read comics now. If you can come up with something more memorable for AED and LRC, go ahead and come up with your own memorization technique.